Welcome back to another video on Google Refine. Previously, we have said that Google Refine is a free power tool for working with messy data. But the data doesn't have to be messy. It might just not be in the form that you want. And using Google Refine, you can quickly transform it into the form that you want. For example, pretend that you are the author of a list on a wiki page, such as this list of Film Fair Best Actress Award winners and nominees for the last 50 years or so. You started recording this data in a list, but now you want to convert it into a table. First, switch into the edit mode and copy out the wiki text of the list. Paste it into a text editor and save. Next, import that file into Google Refine. We don't want Google Refine to split the lines into columns. We will do so ourselves. Also, there's no header in the file, so we set the number of header lines to zero. Here's the wiki text, one line per row, 234 rows in total. First, we want to remove all the year section headings. It's easy to describe them. Any line starting with three equal signs is a year section heading. So we create a text filter and type in three equal signs. That filters the table on the right to the expected rows containing the year section headings. And now we invoke the removing matching rows command to remove all those seven rows. We then clear the text filter so that the table is no longer filtered. And we can see the remaining 227 rows down from 234 rows originally. What just happened is that we use a filter to isolate the rows that we wanted to act upon. And then we invoke a command to affect all of those rows together. That is essentially how to use Google Refine. Isolate all the rows that you want to change using filters and facets, and then change them all in one shot. Moving on, let's note that in the original list, there's a lot of bolded text. We want to bold the text in the final table differently. So we need to remove all the existing bolding, which is encoded as triple quotes. So we invoke the transform command on this one column. In this dialog box, we will specify an expression that takes a cell's value and performs a search for three consecutive single quote marks and replaces them with an empty string. We get a preview of the expression as applied on the first few visible rows, so we can check the results before clicking OK. That changed 57 cells. Next, we note that for each year, the winner is listed first and then the nominees are shown as an indented sublist. In the wiki text, the indented list items start with two stars. Using that hint, we can create a new column that indicates whether a row corresponds to a winner or a nominee. We invoke the command add column based on this column and enter the expression value starts with two star and take the inverse of it and name that new column is winner. We create a text facet from this is winner column to help us work with the winners and the nominees separately. First, we select true to isolate the winner rows. Then we want to extract out the years. We invoke the command add column based on this column and specify the character range from one to five and name that column year. Having extracted out the years, we can remove them from the original column by invoking the transform command and taking the substring from character index 6 onward. We now turn our attention to the nominees by selecting false in the is winner facet. They have no years, so we only need to remove the leading stars. Again, we invoke the transform command and take the substring from character index 2 onward. We remove the is winner facet as we no longer need it. The winners and nominees rows should now look the same except that the nominees are missing the years. But since each nominee is listed immediately after the winner of the same year, we can invoke the fill down command to copy each year onto the blank cells below it. Next, we need to split the first column into three separate columns, actress, film, and character. We invoke the command split into several columns and specify the separator to be space dash space and we want to get up to two columns only. Then we invoke the command split into several columns again and specify the separator to be space as space. Finally, we rename the columns to actress, film, 
and character. We also want to append winner to the actress column for the winner's rows. Instead of using a text facet to isolate the winner rows, we're going to do something different. We invoke the transform command on the actress column. Now we need to refer to the isWinner column to know if a row is a winner row or not. We do so by referring to the cells variable, accessing the isWinner field in it, and accessing the value field. This gets us the value inside the isWinner column in the current row. Below, we get to see such values, which are either true or false. If it is true, we append winner to the current cell's value. Otherwise, we keep the same cell's value unchanged. To implement that logic, we use the if construct as follows. And thus, there are different ways to accomplish the same thing in Google Refine. Now that the data has been transformed from nested list into a proper table, we still need to export the data out in wiki text syntax. So we invoke the templating exporter. By default, the templating exporter provides a template that generates JSON. We can tweak this to generate a wiki text table. The first text field contains the initial chunk of generated text that does not repeat. In our case, this is the table column headings. The next chunk is the text that gets generated repeatedly one for each row. The embedded expressions within this text field are evaluated to retrieve the actual data inside the cells. The next text field is the text that gets generated to separate the rows. And the final text field is the final chunk of the generated text that does not repeat. In our case, this marks the end of the table. We get a preview of our table on the right. When it all looks right, Click Export, open the exported file, copy the wiki text, paste it back into the original wiki page, and preview it. There is our table of Film Fair Best Actress Award winners and nominees. Now let's say that we want to transform not just the Best Actress list, but also the Best Actor list, which looks pretty much the same. This is going to be easy. Again, copy off the wiki text into a file and load it into Google Refine. Now let's switch back to the Best Actresses project to see what we have done. The undo and redo history shows us a list of editing operations that we have performed. Not only that, it allows us to extract those operations out. The operations we select on the left are encoded as JSON on the right. We can simply copy that JSON, switch back to the Best Actress project, Invoke the apply operations command, paste in that JSON, and click apply. And voila, our best actors list has been transformed into a table. I hope this video has given you some ideas of data transformations that you can do using Google Refine. Although our examples are small datasets with a few hundred rows, Google Refine works just fine with up to a few hundred thousand rows if your computer has enough memory. And with more data, the difference between Google Refine and spreadsheet software is even more pronounced. That ability to interactively change in bulk a large chunk of data matching some particular criteria really sets Google Refine apart. And that's not the whole story. Check out the rest of the videos for even more data wrangling magic that Google Refine can do for you for free.